Well, first time I came up to the mountains, I was a sophomore in college, and at the end of summer working, I went up to Watauga County and visited my cousin there. And uh, one of the jobs I did while I was helping him, I stayed for a few days, and we suckered the tobacco plants. And then I helped him put it up in his barn a week or two later. And uh, I was amazed at how sticky and black the tobacco leaves were, even when they were on these beautiful green plants. And over the years I've been there, I've never grown tobacco, but I've had a poundage allotment on my property for years and years. And I've uh, seen how it, it kept, it was one of the few profitable crops in the mountains in the area where I am. We grew uh, um, uh, burley tobacco up there, and uh, so it was different than the flu cure they grow off the mountain down here. You need, the question to me is how you look at long-term cost, our health care cost in our country are one of the big um, entitlement programs that are going to cost us long term and we need to figure out how to reduce the long term cost of our health care. So then you need to look at how, what, what, what is causing the cost, what are people getting sick from and what are they dying from, and then you need to look at how you motivate people to have healthier lives. And uh, I do believe in, in choice of actions. I do believe that you need to be able to have the responsibility and somehow encourage people to live healthier lives. Um, on the tobacco plan, I've noticed that uh, it was one of the few crops, like I said, that was profitable in, in Watauga County. And uh, as the price supports went out and the buyout was going in, it still, I think, has three more years going on it. Farmers are making that transition, and we need to come up with alternative crops for that. Um, tobacco is still, I think, the number of statistics I was looking at in 2008 is still the number three cash producing crop in North Carolina. I don't know what it is this year. So it is a big part to play, and we need to, if there's a market then and it's still legal, then we need to keep that market um, flourishing. I don't know about how to. Uh, the Doggett Amendment I hadn't actually read, I must admit, so I'm not sure exactly how, to, how I would have voted on that. I know that when I'm in Congress, I will be looking at every bill and I'll be looking at how this will affect my constituents, who will benefit from this, and who will be hurt from this. And I do notice that there are a lot less, my children have never smoked cigarettes, I've never smoked cigarettes, but I do realize that the people that are um, tobacco users, um, do that by choice or by addiction? And then how do we move to have people have better lives? Um, I do think we need alternative crops. I think one of the solutions for tobacco is finding the replacement crops for that. Up in Watauga County, there's an um, organic growers group that is replacing, and it's, I think, state money that's going to that to help them have can, um, uh, create new crops that will grow in our small plots up there and still can be profitable because we need these farmers, we need small farmers and large farmers to keep our economy going. It's a key engine, we need jobs, and we need those jobs to be done here. So farming does happen here, and I'd rather the jobs, the tobacco be grown in the United States than elsewhere, and we do grow the best crops and best tobacco probably in the world, and it's safe. As, and uh, So I'm uh, torn on the tobacco issue. I, I've seen the good effects it's had on the society. I've seen the bad effects it's had on the society. And I think it needs to be discussed and analyzed and look forward to how we can help our farmers continue to be profitable and how we can keep our communities safe and healthy. Thank you.